microphone is on. Let's get started. Hi guys, I'm Marley Silva and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> what? So in this video, I'm kind of all over the place. I don't even know. I'm wearing brown. My hair is so curly like this is, I'm gonna prime my face and then talk. My desk is so chaotic right now. Like it's literally, there is stuff everywhere. But yeah, my hair is so crazy because, and it's not even dry, like if you were to touch, it's getting dry now, but like I went out and got gas and then I went to the dollar store. I was gonna get groceries, but I honestly just didn't have it in me today to do it. But I literally left the house with like completely wet hair and I had it in a clip and when I took it out, this is what it looks like. So I kind of love it, I'm obsessed, but the weather right now, like the weather here is minus 20. I guess I can't really show because you guys will see where I'm from. But it says extreme cold warning, minus 20, and it feels like minus 31. This morning it felt like minus 36. So it's gotten warmer, believe it or not, but I was priming my eyes with this She Glam Ready Set Primer. And I'm going to just use my finger to tap that in. But yeah, so I went out, it was actually like freezing. My car was so mad at me this morning. Um, yesterday, my partner's car like literally did not start and he never plugs it in. So this is like the first time it didn't start since I guess he's had the car, which is crazy because I don't know how he like never has to plug his car in. But for me, I literally have to plug mine in every single night. And um, yeah, it's cold here, but I literally, when I got home, I went back to the dollar store and then came home and then went back like 10 times because I basically redid my entire brush situation because I have so many makeup brushes that I just didn't have any room. So this is from the dollar store. And then if you guys are wondering what the little beads are, they're called vase filler. So essentially it's like what you put inside of a vase to fill it. <laughs> But this just holds my brushes. You can tell that they're in there pretty good. And it's just this weird, I think you're supposed to put this in your fridge. It's like a fridge organizer. But this is literally perfect for all my eye brushes. Woo! My anxiety, like literally I'm like so anxious right now because if I would have dropped that, I would have just like not filmed today. But <laughs> so I got, I got um, that bin. And then when I got home, I was like, oh my gosh, I want another one for my face brushes. So. This is like the one for my face brushes and it required a little bit more vase filler just because it obviously has less brushes in it. Just gonna make sure that's on. But yeah, and I and then I got home and I was like, oh, I wanna do, I wanna keep this little one that my mom got me, Live Love Lash, and use, just use that for my like medium sized brushes. So I'm all over the place, but yeah, so I have one for my big face brushes, one for my medium size, one for my small, and I had to like go to the dollar store. Like I literally went back and I bought all of the vase filler that they have. Like I have like so many things filled with vase filler. I tried to fill it with like, you can buy like these rocks from um, the dollar store and I just, they, whenever you put a brush in, it like grinds the rocks, whereas vase filler kind of just like, you can just put it in nicely, so. That's my new brush, brush situation. I'm honestly in love with it. And I'm just so happy because it's been on my mind for like the past couple weeks. I have wanted to basically redo my brush holders areas just because I have so many brushes and I just am so happy that that is done. I have literally so much new makeup in front of me. I'm so excited. There's so many products that I've literally never used on my channel. And we're gonna play today, so I'm really, really excited. I'm just wearing the Burberry Her. This perfume, oh, it's gonna set the mood for this makeup look. I'm like, whenever I put on perfume, I just get in the mood. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. I also just pinned my hair back before I got started. And what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, my nails. So these are my nails. 
They're like a crazy dark forest green. These are actually my real nails, so they've grown out so much, but I'm gonna have an updated nail routine coming on my channel sometime this year. I literally just uploaded my vanity tour, so so many crazy exciting changes even as i'm releasing things and showing you guys things things are constantly changing so i'm just so excited and so happy and so fortunate and blessed and i was like should i change what i'm wearing for this video and then i was like marley chill in the brown and then you're gonna do your watch which which like matches your nails and it's gonna be cute and we're gonna play and i'm so 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 excited so yeah let's just get started but okay so for this makeup look, my inspiration, I'm honestly just like playing around and like trying new stuff, but my inspiration for my eye look is gonna come from the Morphe No Silent Nights palette. I feel like a lot of the colors in here kind of complement what I'm wearing. So um, I already primed my face, so I'm just gonna take the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I literally jumped on the bandwagon and bought this. In Canada, this is like tw this is like nineteen twenty dollars from shoppers. So like, I better fucking Halo Glow after this. Like, I don't know what is going on with Elf, but I'm obsessed with the packaging. Like, it's so cute. I got the shade uh, medium, which putting it on now is a little dark. So I think I'm gonna mix it with, I also got this foundation. It's the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Hy Hydrating Foundation, Hyaluronic Acid and Collagen. And this is a little bit lighter. I also like how, I'm just gonna take my medium sized pink beauty blender. I like how it has a pump and that is just a little bit lighter. So I'm just gonna kinda do that and we're gonna get started. But I've been wanting to try the e.l.f. Halo Glow for like a minute. And I'm really, really happy with, you know, being able to find it in a decent shade because every time I would go to shoppers, it would be either sold out or they just wouldn't have it. And like, I'm so delusional that like, I'll see the shade medium and be like, oh my God, that's my perfect color. And it's like literally all my colors gone from summer. So blending the Maybelline, which is like a little bit lighter with the medium, definitely, definitely is like my perfect shade. But already, like I've been obsessed with uh, Radiant Foundations. Like I feel like before, I feel like when I was younger, I had like really, really like acne prone skin and like a lot of texture. And I was just like always self-conscious about my skin really. And, you know, I would always look for like the matte products or like the anti-shine products, like literally anything that was matte, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get that. And I feel like now that my skin has finally cleared up, you know, I I do have a lot of texture. And like, I was even in the dollar store to this lady and this lady was like, this lady was like, you have such like nice skin. And I was like, thank you. But I mean, I don't have perfect texture. Like if you look, I have, pores and I feel like I have like, just like skin like everybody else. There are some people that have like literally like flat porcelain, like such like no pores on their skin. And I'm just like, I love that for you. I have a face though. So like, I don't know, but I mean, I guess first impression, I do like the coverage. I do like, I do like it. So that's nice this down baby bit again this isn't like a super technical crazy video it's really just me playing but I really really like the I don't know if I like the dream liquid better than the elf I think the mixed is really really pretty but if you guys are wondering for like shades I got the elf in shade 4 medium this is just the elf halo glow super cute and then I got the, the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid in 20 Classic Ivory, and that just looks like this. And this is, I really, really like this so far, so. Okay, next I got a new powder, and this is um, My Shoppers. They're, it's called Nude by Nature. 
I love the rose gold packaging. I feel like this is what Jaclyn Hill could have been if it wasn't like Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. But I really, really love the packaging. I'm gonna be using the Flawless Pressed Powder Foundation in the shade N3 Almond. And I was talking to the girl from um, my shoppers today and she's like, oh yeah, um, Nude by Nature is like, we're no longer carrying it, like we're getting rid of it. So I was kind of sad because I genuinely do like the brand. And the only reason I'm trying it is because everything was on sale for like $5, $6. So that's the reason I'm actually like trying the products is because they were on sale and they were affordable. If they weren't on sale, I probably wouldn't have tried them. But now that I have tried them and they were on sale, they're so nice. Like there's, it's honestly such a beautiful brand. I have never really heard of Nude by Nature before I was in shoppers just like playing around, but they literally have like such such nice products, like their lip products, their concealers, just so nice. Now that I set my face, I'm gonna go in with concealer. Um, I have two, con I have a couple concealers. Some are from Nude by Nature, which are cream concealers. And then this one is a Rimmel London uh, Lasting Radiance Concealer. Oh no, what's the shade? The shade is uh, 030 Classic Beige. Um, I really hope that this isn't too too light, but we're gonna we're gonna try it out. Doesn't look too too bad. I actually do like the color a little bit, and I barely use concealer. Like I feel like today I'm in the mood to do like a full face. I learned from TikTok. Someone was saying like you, whenever you get concealer, you need like one that matches your skin and one that's like. I guess like a couple shades lighter just to brighten. And I do notice that the concealer does brighten, which is nice. I'm not gonna lie, the coverage is not the best, but I already put on foundation. So for a product that's really just meant to brighten, that definitely brightened, so that's cool. I literally am obsessed with my new brush holders. Like, and it's, it's just like, I just love it. I wanna do some lips. So I got, I actually bought a, a couple, um, what do you call it? I actually bought a couple things twice by accident because um, <laughs> it's just how I am. I'm gonna line my lips with Essence uh, 8 Hour in Just Perfect. I love these lip liners, they're so creamy. Okay, so now that my lips are lined with Just Perfect, I'm gonna go in with Nude by Nature Creamy Matte Lipstick in Zero Two Sunset. You guys, hold on. This color is like giving me everything. <gasps> oh my God, is that ever creamy? Wow, I underestimated that. Mm, that is literally butter. I need a moment. Wow. I genuinely don't think I've ever used a matte lipstick that's been this creamy ever. And I'm not just saying that to be like, whatever. Holy shit. Woo! Good thing I put a lip liner on because that was, that slip and slided for sure. It's so pretty, do I want a gloss? What do I want to do next? I got this liquid blush from Essence. When I tell you I haven't used a product that smells as good as the She Glam Picnic Collection. This is an afternoon peach. It's a cream blush. I think the She Glam might, or sorry, sorry, I think the Essence might smell better. This is the Essence Baby Got Blush in the shade Rose all day. This is the perfect shade for me personally. I don't like the lighter ones, but I'm just gonna put this right on my face and pray to God. It works out. I like the way it blends. I like how um, it's not like overly, how do you word that? Like I like how it's like not overly creamy. Like it, when you put it on, it stays where you put it. And then when you blend it, it, it blends really, really well. And it smells good. Essence, like they always kill it with their products. Like it's actually so funny because I went into my shoppers today and they were like putting up like a whole kimchi thing where my essence thing was 
And I literally freaked the fuck out. And I was like, there is no way kimchi is taking over Essence. Like I literally, I had, a, I had like a baby meltdown. I'm really liking my makeup today, you guys. Ah! Um, I had like a, like a literal baby meltdown. Cause I was like, like kimchi, you're fine, but like stay in your lane. Like Essence is so much better. I'm actually just gonna take this and do that. But I was like literally having a meltdown. I was like, where's the Essence counter? Like it's been in the same spot for like literally years. And they were like, oh, we moved it for the kimchi thing. I don't know. Essence forever and will always be that bitch. Like, please. I'm loving my makeup right now. The Nude by Nature smells like Play-Doh and I kind of like it because I used to eat Play-Doh when I was a kid. But the Essence smells so good and I'm really, really liking how the Halo Glow and the Dream Radiant, which I'm loving the packaging, like bring me the pink. I love how the foundation is just so radiant and glowy and then when you put this cream blush on top, it just looks like you're so hydrated and like you've drank in like 30 cups of water and it's not minus 36 degrees Celsius. I'm just living for the creams right now, you guys. So good. I honestly might have to buy another one of these. When something's good, I buy like 30 of them because I'm so scared that they're gonna take it away. All right, I'm making a pile of the things we've already done. So, the blush is honestly so pretty. I'm not even gonna top it up with anything else. Maybe I'll do like a light powder just to set it. As I was talking shit about Jacqueline and we're gonna go in with her powder. I don't know. I just thought the stuff that she did with the brand with uh, with Kayla Nich Nicholson was like honestly disgusting. Like I, I literally do not care when it comes to business. Like if you're if you if your intent is hurting other people, whether it's indirectly or directly, like you're hurting other people. That to me like says more than like, oh, I trademarked it first. Like, congrats, you're still an asshole. And honestly, now that I went in with that fucking blush, I regret it. I'll still tell you guys the shade though. Love language. But yeah, I regret that. I'm gonna go in with like a powder to clean that up. I'm just gonna go back in with the Nude by Nature powder, which I'm surprised they had all this like on sale and it actually matched my skin tone because like usually when things are on sale it's like literally when you're white as a ghost like <laughs> they never have like the right colors but I'm not complaining I'm grateful for highlight this is literally like not like me you guys like I'm usually all over Becca and I'm still obsessed with Becca so please don't think <laughs> that I'm bitching Becca but I am trying out a new highlighter and this is Makeup Revolution Highlighter. And when I saw this in store, I'm gonna open the pan for you guys. The color, like I was like, oh my God, I need this on my face. So I bought it and it's in the shade, just my type. It's the Revolu Makeup Revolution London Highlighter Reloaded. I'm gonna go in with a powder brush. I'm not even gonna wipe it off. I'm just gonna go right in. Woo! Okay, Makeup Revolution did not come to play, you guys. That is so pretty. One thing I will say is that it does accentuate my texture, which I am not the biggest fan of because I obviously have pores and I have a face and this highlighter really like accentuates my pores and I don't like that. I'm gonna give it, I'm still gonna finish with it though, but like, oh my God, did it ever accentuate my, my texture. It is a really pretty color though. I'm not gonna lie, I do like the color. It just kind of messed with my texture. Because I'm extra, I'm literally, I've been obsessed with this highlighter lately. This is Lilac Geode by Becca. I literally know the um, color so well just because I use it all the time. Oh, it's 
Lilac Geo is just, just so pretty. It just, Becca just does it right. Like I, I feel bad trying new highlighters because I just feel like I hate them all because they're not as good as Becca. And now that I put that on, it's like really accentuating my texture. I need to like almost press powder into my cheeks just to like fix that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bronze today. Actually, maybe I'll lightly bronze. I'm going in with the Essence Sun Club Bronzer in Lighter Skin. Did it? Is it actually the shade lighter skin? Oh no, it's in the shade 01 Natural. I'm just gonna take like a fluffier e.l.f. complexion brush, just dust that in. I'm just gonna lightly go over that blush and just kinda bring some more warmth to the skin. Such a pretty bronzer when you don't wanna wear bronzer. I'm really disappointed with the highlighter. I'm really disappointed with Honestly, the concealer, I don't really feel like it did too much for me. I'm gonna try this new Essence Fix It Like a Bot. I love the packaging. Like, can we just talk about it? I love the packaging. Ex Essence Fix It Like a Boss Extra Strong Transparent uh, Brow Gel. Woo, that just literally came out like, um, <laughs> literally came out like semen honey. I like the brush on this, it feels amazing. And it's actually like hella strong. Just feeling the brush with the product in it, it like literally I have to do like no work. Like it already just put everything right where it needs to be. I'm just gonna wipe off the brush with a tissue. Ooh, the smell, it smells like a really strong citrus fruit and I'm not mad at it. I really, is this the new replacement for my brow gel? If you guys know me, also, I love creamy matte lipsticks. Like if it says it's creamy and it's matte and it's actually that, I'm obsessed. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. This one is like pink packaging and it's extra strong. So far, I really, really, really like this one and the smell is amazing. Now we're gonna go into eyes. I'll put the palette on the screen with the colors that I'm using so you guys can follow along. I'm going in with an MSQ blender brush. And I'm gonna start with the shade Hot Spot or Hot Spot, depending how you pronounce things. And I'm just gonna lightly dust that in my crease. I, with the Shein palettes, I literally had to, how do you word it? Like I had to do my eyes first and then I would do, I would do my eyes first and then I would do my base second because of the follow. With Morphe shadows though, like you can literally just do your face and then there's literally no fallout. There's such, such great shadows and they're so pretty. Ooh, so good. Does anyone relate? Like I feel like I'm so good at doing my left hand side of my eye with my left hand. And then when I do my right hand side, I feel like I'm just like not as precise. Like, I don't know. I just feel like this side looks so much prettier and then this side I like can never get to look pretty. I need like a fluffy brush to blend it out. I am worthy of being loved as deeply and as purely as I love. That's so sweet. I'm just gonna build it up really, really focused again because I feel like I kinda build it up. Just gonna literally like ever so slightly just darken this. Next I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush in the shade Seasons Dashing. Oh my God, that is pigmented. I'm just gonna literally put that in the outer V. Woo! And then e with an even, e English Marley. With an even smaller blender, blended brush, I'm just gonna blend that in to the outer corner. I'm not being too like picky, like I'm putting it actually on my lid. I'm just smoking out that side here. Kind of like in like circle motions, just. Literally with the lightest, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap, tap it, go like this and then blow on it. I'm just gonna ever so slightly bring that at the top and just drag it into the crease at the top here. Just to define that a little bit more. That is the thing about eyeshadow, you guys, is that if it looks fucked up, 
either blend it out or add more product. That is one thing that I've learned is so tricky with eyeshadow. It, it can just be tricky. Like I just feel like it, it can be so tricky sometimes. I kind of like where this is going. I want to keep it really simple. I'm going to take the same concealer and I'm going to cut my crease. And then just like a flat top painter brush right into our inner corner. And my tip is that if you think you're blended, just blend some more. I'm just going in with that um, same really, really small tapered brush with this. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys this shade. Pro over here um, with the dark shade Seasons Dashing. And I'm just gonna quickly put that in like the inner corner and then drag it up just to blend out the cut crease that we just basically just did. <laughs> Same thing. With like kind of a flat, uh, fluffy brush. I'm actually using this at the end of the tutorial, but I found these at the dollar store. And I've literally never seen a product like this before. But this is the L'Oreal uh, Shake and Glow Dewy Mist L'Oreal uh, Dew Face Mist. It looks like this, and you can kind of see like reflexes of purple at the top. That is the weird, it's so cool. It's like a dewy, what? Dewy, misty. I'm gonna stop talking now, but I'm gonna wet the brush with it. Doesn't really smell crazy. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Twinkle Twinkle and just put that right where we just cut the crease. And then again, same small brush, no product. Blend that out, wet the brush. Twinkle, twinkle, little mo motherfucking star, bitch. Super pretty. I'm actually gonna take a baby bit of Seasons Dashing, like not a lot. Tap the brush, <sighs> blow it, lightly go in there. Same thing. Just to kind of take away a little bit of that glitter with still bringing definition. And that is pretty much the eye look. So pretty. I'm actually really, really liking how this turned out. <sighs> now I want to clean up my, I'm not gonna use that concealer cause it is whack. So I'm gonna go in with the NARS uh, creamy concealer in, or is this, what is this? <laughs> it's not NARS, the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand which I need to buy another one of these, they're so good. Flat top, I'm just going to paint a line right here and then pull down. And then same thing with this side. Okay, you guys, I am so nervous. I'm gonna use a liquid eyeliner. I've never used liquid eyeliner in my life, my life. And this is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen in the shade Deep Black. Looks like it's one of their new liners. I'm really nervous. If this isn't trust the process, I don't know what is. Okay. Here's how it looks so far. I'm gonna like obviously smudge it out, but be nice to me. I don't know how I'm doing better on my opposite eye, but like, okay, while that dries, I'm actually gonna go back in with concealer and pray to God that the concealer covers up That's actually not too bad. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna go in with powder underneath and then I'm gonna smoke out the liner. I'm gonna go in with the color Out to Thrill with a pencil brush with the palette. I'm just gonna literally and like gently smudge out that liner. So that is my very first time doing eyeliner. I feel like this side isn't as good. 
Hold on. I don't know you guys, I tried. I do like eyeliner, I just feel like I'm like scared of it. I'm like literally filming a tutorial first time doing eyeliner. That looks really good. <laughs> she's either gonna love it or she's gonna hate it. No, I actually love it. I can't do eyeliner because I put it on. I can't do it because I'm like half retarded, but I tried. Gets demon demonetized, canceled, gets deplatformed. <laughs> Okay, I love you, bye. I'm so sorry, we could literally talk for like hours. Okay, liquid eyeliner's done. Um, if I had to give a recommendation, I really, really love this eyeliner. It's the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. It has like literally a super fine tip. Not sure if you're supposed to shake it, but I really like how it came out. I do need to practice that, I'm not gonna lie. It's something that <laughs> They're like sisters, not twins, but I just curled my lashes while I was on the phone. And I'm gonna use the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Lash Extension with Lengthening Fibers Mascara. This is the wand, which I was expecting like a bigger wand, but I'm into it. And what a better time to use this mascara than right after I do eyeliner. Okay, there is literally fibers in here, you guys. What is going on? Okay, so it's really pretty, but I think the fibers are like messing with the application. So I'm just gonna quickly take the um, Lash Like a Boss Instant Volume and Length. It's another new Essence mascara. And I'm literally just gonna try to like pull those fly fibers up. And yeah, that did exactly what I thought it would. That looks so much better with mascara, but if you guys want a tip, I would start with the extension one, then put a normal one on just to kind of like pull the fibers. And then I'm probably gonna go in with the fibers as like a top coat, so I'm gonna let that dry. This lash extension mascara is not a joke. Okay, while that dries down or tries to dry down, I'm literally gonna go back in with the like a boss. Like a boss, baby. I also wanna add a gloss to this lipstick. It is a really, really pretty lipstick, but I'm a gloss girl. Like, I feel like I'm missing gloss. I'm gonna go in with the Essence uh, Extreme Plumping Volume Lip Gloss with like the white glitter. And this is not like painful. This is like menthol plumping. I'm just gonna like load up the coverage. Ugh, is that ever pretty with a gloss? And oh my God, is that ever, it literally is plumping and cooling. I love this. This is one of my favorite glasses. I think we made it to the end. Is there anything I'm missing? Yes. Setting spray. I'm gonna go in with the setting spray we used to wet our brush for the glitter. And this is the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist with like the reflexes. I literally bought four of these at the dollar store. The mist is just so fine. <sighs> and that just really, I love this. I'm happy I bought all four because I was like, at first I was like, do I need all four? And then I was like, buy all four. <laughs> I don't know how we only used this many brushes. I honestly love looking at myself with like a wing liner. It literally is like a different, <gasps> someone literally needs to slap me before I finish a video and just like be like, look at your fucking face. Like look at your teeth. It's like a mess. But anyway, I love my hair today. I literally kept it in a claw clip all day and soaking wet hair and then I took it down and this is what it looks like. So I'm literally obsessed with that. Also, I really, really like winged eyeliner on my eyes. I think it just looks so pretty. I have never done it before. It's the first time doing it in this video and I truly do have like cat eyes. So it just like looks really, really pretty. I'm like, is this something I'm gonna be doing more often? Cause like, I kind of love it. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I like this. I, I wanna like it, but I feel like it doesn't, I don't know. I feel like the fibers get stuck halfway. And I feel like I've tried Essence mascaras that do a better job. So I don't really know how I feel about the fibers, to be honest. I'll have to wear it out and like try it again before I make a final decision, but. I just finished curling my lashes and that's pretty much it. I guess I'll just do like a recap of everything I used. The Dr uh, Dream Radiant and Elf, I would probably give, I think I like this one more than the Elf, but I like them together. 
Makeup Revolution highlighter, if you have really textured skin, probably wouldn't recommend this. If you have anything that like, anything like pores, basically if your skin isn't completely perfect, I would not recommend this. Could you use this, ugh, could you use this as an eyeshadow? Yes. Would I use it as a highlighter if you have big pores? No. Essence Fix It Like a Boss Extreme Holds Brow Gel, 10. Essence Cream Blush in Rose All Day, 10. Rimmel 2, the concealer honestly didn't wow me. L'Oreal Lumi, 10. I thought, I, I literally thought I was gonna hate this. I got it from the dollar store. The mist is amazing. It feels amazing. This is amazing. Essence Liquid Liner, 10. Like a Boss, 10, 6, Nude by Nature Powder, 9, Fit Me, 20, CoverGirl, 20, The Palette, 20, and the Nude by Nature Lipstick, 20. All right, you guys, that is it for this makeup look. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. I love hanging out with you and honestly just like playing with new makeup and playing with you guys and having fun. This is something that makes me so happy. I love playing with makeup and just sitting down being like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then like just having fun and trying something new. So I love this so much. If you guys like any of these products or you have any tips or any you know other products that you recommend me trying, please leave it down in the description box below. This literally was my very first time trying liquid eyeliner and I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of love it. I like need to work on it. Like I'm not perfect by any means. I definitely need to like practice a lot more, but I think for like a starter, that's not too bad. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that is it for this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.